back to SA Live. Well, would you like to branch out and maybe try something new on your Christmas tree? Local artist and our dear friend Stephanie Pena Frost, owner of the Princess and the Monkey, joins us right now and has some great little tips for yes. decorating your trees. And nobody knows better than her because, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> I decorated, we got the house done. She did a hotel. A hotel, yes. an entire yes. hotel. And you, and that hotel is the Hotel Contessa right here in downtown, okay? And that included seven Christmas trees. Seven Here's Christmas some pictures. trees. Wow. Ranging from s seven feet to a 12 foot tree. But and it's they not were all done in oh a matter my. of days. Yes. Look and it's at not that. just though the trees. I mean, you've got to do the railings and the little planter areas. Yes. So it, look was, at that. it was almost 600 feet of garland. I had an amazing team come out and help me. I couldn't have done this by myself, but it did take about six months of planning. Wow. So, and then at the end, we had to integrate some trees that they had into the design as well. Wow. So I learned a whole bunch of really great tips at how to make everything work seamlessly and mm -hmm. quickly and beautifully with the, with the ornaments on hand. Okay. okay. So down there yes. you had a lot of the larger ornaments obviously right scale, it's big tree but, yeah. large ornaments um if you can't find large ornaments because they're so hard to find especially in the colors that you want a tip that that i came across was bunching ornaments together so you could get a single color single style or you could do multiples and with that you can easily put them onto a tree in the in in the spots that you need to have filled you can put tuck them into the tree as well to kind of help it give it some more uh, depth and 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 texture to it which was a whole bunch of fun to do and as you saw she hooked them all together just ran some floral wire through there and that's great because not only is it easy to work with then mm -hmm. you can put them on the branch and you can just twist the floral yes you don't wire, have to worry so. about them falling off you don't okay. have to use the traditional um, ornament hooks either okay so that and was one of the really great tips um, that that we kind of came across you know fun ways to use ribbon fun ways to use picks you can do bows you can do ribbons you can do a whole bunch of different things with it to kind of get make it personal make it your own style and mm -hmm. give it that texture instead of just having it a plain simple tree kind of make it fun and you can use um, like past ornaments that you have so you have a tree that you want to kind of restyle this is another good way to do it to incorporate maybe some new looks to it as well so the next thing that we're gonna do is something that Monica came in and really helped me with um, at the end because we didn't wanna do a traditional tree topper on all these, but we wanted to give it some, some, some depth and some definition. She's a, an amazing florist. And so she did basically a floral arrangement on the top of each tree. Monica so I was like, how do you do with this? Cause she did great. So she's gonna teach y'all how to do this and we're gonna, we're gonna help. So oh, we I haven't started. These, whoops, so I put them in the tree. <laughs> So whether you can have it going straight up or you can have it coming straight out, however you want to do it, just think of it as making an arrangement, like a floral okay. arrangement. So if you don't have a, a tree topper or if you want to, you can even incorporate a star if you have a star that you really like and you can put it as the and center. And you can go around it, yes. And then you can definitely go around it. Okay, I'll be darned. Look at how it, that was so simple. And look and at how great it looks. Yes. Look and at I that. love that, that if you still wanted to incorporate the star, you just kind of fan this out and yes. just kind of crown the tree, right? Yes. yes. And it makes it so stylish. And you'll see this a lot around town, a lot in decorator magazines, a lot on different things. So it's a beautiful way to kind of jazz up a tree, especially if it's a, a one that you already have. Look at that. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Stephanie Pena Frost. Thank you, Monica, Frost. Thank you yes. very much. You can find Princess and the Monkey Home Decor at the Pearl Holiday Night Market on Wednesday night starting at 5 p.m. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.